the UK's newest port, London Gateway, is now building up services as its second berth comes into operation and is reporting major progress on its logistics park. We caught up with Commercial Director Peter Ward to bring us up to date with developments. New services at London Gateway. Yep. Yeah, it follows on from, of course, the um, you know the North South trades, the Hamburg, Sud and Hapag uh, services that were announced uh, a little while ago. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got the East Coast and West Coast, South America, and then the Epic service uh, coming in. Um, and actually, they start uh, on Friday the second of May, so a couple of days time. Um, and then um, we've uh, had an announcement this week that the uh, P2 uh, G6 transatlantic uh, service is also going to. Uh, come to London Gateway. Uh, the first vessel arrival will be the Margaret Rickmers um, on the 15th of May and, and then thereafter that becomes a, a weekly service. It's one of the key uh, key transit uh, transatlantic loops, yeah. Uh, for us it's uh, it's again part of the promise. Uh, we said that we would um, you know start with this soft um, opening, the first berth at London Gateway and now we're bringing in the second berth and, and uh, bringing that additional capacity into the market so this is all part of that incremental uh, build up of services uh, and of course our promise to the market has been to provide uh, you know global reach um, and to have a complete uh, mixture of, of trades and this is uh, this is all part of that mix. Added to that good news you've also got additional train services from Schenker, DB Schenker. Yeah, both rail operators actually, and uh, again, you know, we've got some good uh, proof of concept now, having been open for uh, for a few months um, across the two main um, operators, Freightliner and, and DB Schenker. Yeah, we said from from day one that we would operate London Gateway very much as an open access terminal, um, uh, and encourage uh, you know the freight train operators to operate the trains and, and not be dominated you know by by any one of them um, sort of controlling things in the terminal. And, um, uh, and as I say, now after a few months, we've got some real good proof of concept. The, the uplift um, in and out of London Gateway is roughly split 50-50 across the two main operators at the moment. And, and actually all the trains um, that we've moved so far have been 100% um, in full on time. So service levels are coming up and the feedback we're getting from the market is, as a result of that uh, nice bit of uh, healthy competition, you know, there's a bit of competitive pricing in there as well. So, so again, that's all coming together. Now as a result of the new services that are actually coming in starting this coming weekend, mm -hmm. um, then of course uh, the rail freight oper operators are, are upping their game and uh, uh, putting additional services in. Um, again, uh, you know, in round figures we're probably looking at somewhere between 40 and 50 train services a week across the two operators uh, to all the usual inland destinations. So sort of daily services to the Midlands, North West, North East and I think three days a week to Bristol or something like that so um, you know aggregate that all up we're into sort of 40 to 50 services a week um, um, starting in the next few days. The thing we haven't heard much about lately we haven't heard too much about how things are going with the logistics part are you making progress? Yeah we are and and again uh, here at Multimodal last night there was uh, there was another sort of major announcement uh, made because there was a deal actually uh, consummated uh, yesterday where um, the world's largest uh, prop industrial property development Developer, um, signed a deal with uh, with DP World London Gateway uh, to build a, a 370,000 square foot uh, building on the logistics park, uh, you know, on a, a sort of speculative basis at the moment. So again, demonstrating their confidence in the uh, in the value proposition of London Gateway and the logistics park and everything um, to, that it stands for. So, you know, M Marks and Spencer, um, they'll be uh, starting um, on site soon. That, that was announced, as you know. Um, middle of last year uh, we've got the common user facility the London Gateway common user facility starting to take some shape now um, and, and now the Pro Lodges deal added to that so uh, and, and a, other interest in, in temperature controlled um, London food hub type of a type of concept so we've got some interesting discussions going on around that um, if I aggregate up all of the sort of common, in, uh, common interest and, and sort of proposals that we're, we're in um, negotiations with at the moment, we're probably talking about a third of the logistics park now sort of being, if you might sort of say, spoken for. Um, we think six months after opening the port, that's a pretty, pretty good place to be. 
Finally, Gateway have also announced that feeder operator Express Container Line will launch a three times weekly feeder service between London Gateway and Dublin and Liverpool on the 18th of May 2014. We'll bring you more on UK ports when we have it.